Hey everybody, Troy Rutter here from TTMAutograph.com with another weekly recap. Again, everything kind of came in at the end of the week, plus I went to a collector show yesterday. It's Sunday now. Yeah, yesterday. I got a bunch of stuff from that, so let's get right to it. Let's get right to the cards first, the actual TTMs, and then we'll go into the entertainment TTMs, and then we'll do the autograph show. Sounds like a plan? Good. Not that you had a choice. Well, you do have a choice because you're watching the video, but you know what I mean. So let's go right to the cards first. Um, coming in first is Felipe Amont. Amont. Felipe Amont. Uh, this came in 55 days. This is a Phillies card, and I mentioned this before. I don't have many Phillies just because they usually send fan packs back. Um, I didn't go through and mark who had changed teams and all that, so some of these could be from new teams. I know this next one is from a new team, uh, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, 55 days for Felipe there. Here we have Chase Headley. Chase Headley, this came back in 55 days. This is actually a Padres card, but that, and so that came back, uh, that's pretty cool. That was also in 55 days. Next we have Scott Geralt. This is a 1989 card. And this came in 52 days from Scott Geralt. Nice blue Sharpie there, 52 days. Next we have Nathan Eovaldi. This came in 35 days. Uh, this is a Dodgers card from, looks like 2012. So uh, Nathan Eovaldi in, uh, what did I say? 35 days. <laughs> so another classic card, uh, Dave Roberts. Dave Roberts. This came back in 52 days. This is like a 2008, I think. 2008 upper deck, something like that. Yep. So there you go. And finally, Felix Dubrant in 37 days, a Boston Red Sox card. I don't have a lot of Boston Red Sox either just because I tend to get fan packs from the Red Sox. So I'll get into the, the actual TTMs now. Uh, this first one, uh, for the first thing I saw on the back was this. Uh, hope to see you on, I didn't scan this part and it's probably not gonna show up. Hope to see you on set someday. Um, and then I was like, oh, that's kind of cool when I saw the back of that, but then I saw the front and he signed it to Tony. So, to Tony from Jimmy Smith's. Best wishes always. So, I have a bunch of autographs where people call me Tony. So, it doesn't really phase me and maybe I'll change my name. No, I'm not gonna change my name. And so, uh, the other actual TTM that came in, uh, you might have remembered me a few weeks ago, I got I got a little bit of a flack with my uh, TTM Tuesday article on Mike the Fanboy because I did a whole thing, a theme on Fuller House, and I got some flack on a friend's, or uh, yeah, a friend's Facebook page saying none of these address addresses work, and I took that as a challenge because when you say none of these addresses work, you better be able to back that up because yeah, you might not get uh, Candace Cameron Gurr anymore or even Jody Sweeten anymore, um, who I already have, so I wasn't gonna write to them anyway. But I got uh, uh, Jay Money, he plays Jackson on the show, and I took that as a challenge, and so I, I got uh, Michael Campion. There's number one, there's number two, and he was also in the movie Robo Dog, and uh, Christmas movie. One of those Trading Places Christmas movies. Um, can't remember the name of it, but anyway. So yesterday, as I said, was the Hollywood Collector Show, and I got a few autographs here. Um, gonna go through these kind of fast, but they're all really cool. Uh, first, I added Bill Mooney to my big Babylon 5 multi-signed picture of me and one of my friends. So Bill Mooney is up there. Uh, right now, it's Walter Koenig, Bill Mooney, Patricia Tallman, Robin Atkin Downs, and Steven first on this photo. So happy with that. And then uh, this one's, this was actually kind of interesting. So um, this is good for the book, by the way. Um, 
Yeah, you remember I'm writing a book, right? Okay, good. So back in like the late 1990s when Star Trek The Next Generation was on, I wrote to uh, Brian Bonsell, who was playing Alexander, and I got this one back, and I've had this forever. And uh, I always thought something was a little off, like it was secretarial or something. So I, uh, I went up to Brian at the Hollywood Collector Show, and I said, is this real or is this secretarial? Is this your agent? Is it your mom? What? And he actually told me that, yeah, when things got busy, his sister signed for him back in the 90s. So that is his sister's autograph. <laughs> but he gave me uh, a real one for free uh, to Troy Brian Bonzel. So <laughs> uh, he was really nice. Um, you know, he's had some, uh, you know, his mug shots up on whatever, smoking gun or TMZ or something. But he's doing really well, and uh, it was really nice. And his band is playing in Des Moines in a couple months or something. I'm not there, but anyway. Uh, so that was really cool. And then I uh, I was helping uh, a friend of a friend out. Well, I guess, yeah, he's a friend too, um, at their table. So I kind of broke off and got some autographs on my own. Uh, this is Paris Themen from Willy Wonka for Troy, Not Till You're 12, Son. And he signed that photo and also a golden ticket, which is kind of a cool thing that he does. Uh, he gives a golden ticket autograph out as well. And I got a selfie. There's the selfie as well. <laughs> um, next I have from Cheers, uh, George Went. Norm, right there. Norm, AKA George Went. Um, and then this one was too funny. Um, Alexander Polinsky from Charles in Charge. Uh, this photo was just too funny to pass up. Uh, hashtag Adam in charge. He said that's a thing, either on Instagram, Twitter, or, or something. And I just thought that was hilarious. And he didn't have change, and so he signed a book for me as well for $5 and gave that to me instead of change. There you have the infamous fire and police going in back of me. Anytime, guys. Thank you. Sometimes I wish I still had the house. <laughs> well, a lot of times. Um, and then uh, also Nicole Eggert, also from Charles in Charge and Baywatch. And Baywatch. And Baywatch. <laughs> Nicole Eggert, right there. And then, uh, as I said, my friend, my friend of a friend who I knew a long time ago, and yeah, he's a friend, um, Adam Wiley who was in Picket Fences, uh, numerous commercials, Seventh Heaven, All Dogs Go to Heaven voiceover, uh, just tons of things. To Troy, thanks for the company, in it till the end. And that is because we stayed there until the very end of the day. Other people got up and were leaving at like four, some leaving at 3.30. We stayed till five and finished strong. We actually uh, had some people, um, It, yeah, people came by at like right at five, so. It was awesome. So that was a fun day. So hopefully, hopefully everybody's going to have a giant mail week uh, this next week. Uh, Mid-April already. Ugh, can you believe it? Um, what, a, what else do I have to tell you? Oh, I got, a, I got a, uh, a message from the people who bought my house. And they said that there were a couple TTMs that came in and were not forwarded. 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 Yeah, forwarded to me. Um, cause my forwarding expired evidently recently and they're going to send those to me. So those would be probably at least six months. So 30, like 180 plus day returns, um, at least because I moved in September. So they're, you didn't say what they were. They're either football or baseball from last season. So that will be very interesting. So Anyway, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, please like, comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't. How come you're not? You are, you are subscribed. Okay, cool. And uh, share and all that good stuff. And I might have some uh, interesting things coming up in the next couple weeks. Um, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. So anyway, thank you so much. Um, oh, I also got Brandy. I didn't, I'm pointing, but you can't see what I'm pointing at. I got Brandy, AKA the Graphing Geek 
uh, a picture of from Adam as well, since she's a big Gilmore Girls fan. So um, that was fun. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, thank you so much. Uh, I hope everybody had a great weekend, and let's look forward to another week. Hey, stamps are two cents less. Of course, if you bought them before now, it doesn't really help, but um, I guess it'll help when I buy the stamps for the Hit the Deck contest, won't it? <laughs> anyway, oh, thank you for watching. As always, I hope, uh, hope this has been entertaining today, and uh, we'll talk to you later, all right? Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.